Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Hogwarts Legacy video. Well, we finally got the update for PlayStation 5. And oh boy, it is huge and changes a whole lot of things. This is really good for all PlayStation 5 owners. Let's go! Once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, here's the full patch notes for the PlayStation 5 that was just dropped on us. Now we're going to jump right to it, I'm not going to waste too much of your time. Developer note, this patch addresses overall gameplay, performance, and stability, as well as online connectivity. For bug fixes, of course we are on update 1.04 online, they fix the issue with achievement data being properly pushed to Wizarding World portal after linking, and added additional retry connection to WB Games server in the event session expires. So if you haven't got any of your gear yet, for linking your accounts, well, now you'll be able to. Under gameplay, under trophies, fix the trophy cap limit resolving to collector's edition trophy not updating correctly. This will retroactively unlock and display all earned trophies earned by the player. This is all the following report issues in HL-1191. I'll mail fix the issue with mail not properly triggering a sequential mission, which is very important. And under world events, they fix a rare crash around certain locations where in-game world events would spawn. NPCs fix a rare crash with respawning NPCs in the world. Fix crashes with some NPC schedules. Characters fix issues with flickering occurring with the transparent head while hair is still present. UI updated localization tech for additional content items. Added build version to first time EULA fixed rare occurrences of mission descriptions not being displayed correctly. Cinematics corrected VFX presentation of role transformation fixed a stable issue when skipping cutscenes. Fix the crash when playing cutscenes and cinematics for save game. They cleaned up auto saves properly when closing the game. Corrected a crash when save system was writing data. Fix error of rewriting the last auto save slot. Fix the issue when restarting from last save around not being able to talk to vendors after initial conversation. Resolve the following reported issues, which was quite a bit. For performance and stability, they improved performance on fidelity mode. Fix a rare crash around hovering over the map. Fix issue with wind causing distortion and scratching of world assets. Fix a rare occasion with material swapping. Fix a rare crash with map asset state. Fix rare crash occurring with in-game world events. Fix memory leak with global lighting system HL-313. And fix a crash when trying to solve a flying cabinet. For PC Steam and PC Epic Games, save game, fix rebuilding of save game lift if manually deleted, and performance instability, improve crash collecting to help chase rare crashes. So boom, there you have it. Told you it was huge, especially for PlayStation owners. Hopefully, it fixed some of the crashes. I know I experienced some, and hopefully, this will fix some of the performance and stability issues as well. But for right now, that's pretty much going to for the video. Link is down below. As always, if you are new to the channel, how you doing? And welcome. Don't forget to subscribe right here at Carbon Gamer. Below the wide variety of videos, range from updates, tips and tricks, guys, and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.